So now I'm going to work on my student instructions. So first thing you want to have, and I would print it, I would laminate it, put it somewhere safe. These are the Seesaw icon shortcuts so that you code them using the words to the right so that the image appears in the instructions for your students that may not be literate yet. So in the instructions, I can include a blurb here. Today, we are going to work on words that include OU, OW, and AW. And then I number my steps. Some people don't. I'm a big believer. So tap. Some people say tap. Some say tip, uh, click. And then add, which means add response to on page one. And I want to move the words to their column. And then O U O W A W. Three, tap the mic and read each word in the column. In read each word in all three columns. Four on page two, and this one I gave the students an option so they can label or um, drawing, which means write, label or write the word that matches the image by tap them. Oop. I always forget the code. Tap the mic and read each word you wrote. And then they will just to finish the recording on page five, they'll tap the check. And then to submit, they'll tap the check. And then I strongly suggest to always add voice instructions. Our students um, connect with our voice, especially when the virtual environment in the fall. But either way, the voice instructions can help anyone because what if I have a student that can't read all the words I wrote in the directions? Yeah, they may understand the coded words, but will they know necessarily what they're required to do? So when I click add voice instructions, the instructions it starts recording as soon as I click this blue mic. So be ready to start talking and maybe wait a second or two. So I'm going to click this. Today we are going to work on words that include OU, OW, and AW. So number one, tap the add response button. Number two, on page one, drag the words to their column the OU column, the OW column, and the AW column. Number three, tap the microphone and read each word in all three columns to me. Number four, on page two, I want you to label or write the word that matches each image. And then number five, tap that microphone again and read each word you wrote. Number six, tap the check mark to uh, stop your recording. And then number seven, tap that check mark to submit your activity. Thank you. And then it's going to take a moment or two to process. All depends on how bogged down your internet is or how hard your device is working. This is actually going pretty quick right now. Always listen to your recording because even though you may have thought that everything went well, it might have become garbled in the processing. Today we are going to work on words that include OU, OW, and AW. And I would normally listen to the entire thing to make sure it is good. And so I have included my student instructions and my voice 
instructions or recording. And if I wanted to redo it, I could just click the trash can and re-click the button again. If in doubt, click Save. 